And we start the five with a story you will see only on Fox 5. A widow calling for accountability after she says the funeral home she used for her late husband cremated him before the viewing. Fox 5's David Kaplan speaking with the family this afternoon. Uh, David, what exactly are they saying happened? Well, good evening to you. Risha, Risa Washington Bolding is the widow. Donna Hill is the niece. They're emphatic that their wishes for Peter Bolding were conveyed to the funeral home, that they wanted to have a viewing for people to come to and then have his body cremated. However, when friends and family and the widow and niece got to the funeral home, Stewart Funeral Home in Northeast, on Friday, they learned that his body had been cremated nearly two weeks ago. It was nothing that she wanted, nothing that the whole family talked about. And to do that was just absurd. So adding to the pain and frustration of this, Risa Washington Bolding dropped off a suit for her husband, Peter, last Tuesday. He had been cremated the previous Wednesday, and no one told her, she says, until she got to the funeral home this past Friday. Peter died at home, so friends and family hadn't gotten to see them and pay their final respects. And they wanted to have a viewing because he was the last surviving member of his immediate family. Risa says the funeral home tried to convey to her that she had signed up for a visitation and memorial service, not a viewing, but she says she was clear through the whole process about what she wanted. And he's like, this is what you said, but that's not what I asked for. That's not what I asked for. I asked for viewing service and then he is to be cremated. And I, I was so tore up behind it. Um, just about everybody there was tore up behind it. You know? Because we, you know, they came from everywhere. Fox 5 did reach out to the Stewart Funeral Home for comment specifically about this incident. In a statement, they told me, quote, that they were dealing with the family directly and have no comment at this time. Again, the family did say that the funeral home, and the funeral home has this listed on their website, this distinction between a viewing and a visitation. The funeral home told the family that they signed up for a visitation, then memorial service, but again, the family family is adamant that everything going on, they even picked a casket. So they are adamant that they wanted a viewing and did not want his body, Peter's body, cremated before their wishes, again, picking out a casket. So we're going to continue following up on this story. We've reached out for some more information. If we learn anything in our next hour, we'll be sure to pass that along to you.